Here we are under the trailer again. I was just going to show the wiring after I got it to uh, the trailer side finished up and uh, all the wires tidied up into some protection and tied in place into the junction box. Um, everything checked out okay. Uh, the one wire that I thought that uh, uh, went to the tack and horse uh, lights, uh, interior lights, actually went to the also they did go to that uh, but they actually also went to the uh, to the upper part of the trailer uh, the running lights on the outside so I changed the location of that uh, attachment to be uh, in on the same attachment the tail lights are on so that takes care of that I had also mentioned that I had moved the wires over to this beam and the reason why I did on the uh, old trailer, I don't know if you can see it or not, there was a channel here in place for the wires to run through, and that channel ran all the way to the front. So I did not have enough room to install the junction box over there, so that's the reason why uh, I moved the wires uh, from this side here to uh, this side over here. So everything is checked out on the wires uh, on the trailer side. I'm just waiting for my uh, my bundle to come in that uh, goes to the connector plug and then I'll I'll put the I'll put that in and just do a short video to show that I've also got uh, all of the new brakes installed and all the wiring hooked up to those uh, uh, there's one of the new brakes and uh, I'll try to I'll try to get the camera in closer and show you a shot on the uh, on the inboard side how I've got the wires done and routed uh, because it's uh, important that uh, when you do those wires that you tie them in a way that uh, they're not going to get uh, hit by the wheels uh, when they're turning or that would make a mess so I'll, I'll try to get the camera up in there and give you a shot of that so here we are uh, looking up in here uh, here's the wires uh, that, that come out of the trailer uh, the wires that uh, they're coming out of the wheel and uh, I've protected them with this uh, sheathing and uh, then I did a tie wrap down here that ties them it gives uh, it gives plenty of slack in the wires for uh, for the axles to move up and down but it also ties it out of place uh, uh, out of the way so uh, they're, they're not going to get hit by the wheels so um, the next job is to um, Put the uh, repack the bearings and put all the brake drums back on and that's the the next thing i'm going to do okay here we are the uh all of the uh, brake drums are back on the uh, bearings have been repacked with grease everything's on and so they're ready to have their wheels put back on uh, my next uh, task will be to clean up all the uh all the wheel rims and repaint them and possibly put some more pin striping on I'm not sure about that yet anyway they'll definitely get repainted and get them on and then I will back the trailer up closer to the ramp since it's about 250 pounds now and get the ramp back on there and in place and uh, hook the tail lights up so be getting really close to being completed with this uh, with this horse trailer work <laughs> 